All right, haven't done this in a while, so today we're gonna go and look at a 84 C20 Chevy, old rail car. Um, one they used to run on the railroad tracks to remove the uh, the railroad track hubs, but still has the narrow track width and the utility bed on it. And uh, see if we can uh, pick this up for a decent price. Sounds like it runs good, but needs a fuel tank and a few other things. We're gonna pick it up with my ramp truck. But it's about 30 miles from here, so I'm a little hot and sweaty right now. I was getting it ready and it's 100 and, 101 heat index outside right now. Um, yeah, let's flip this camera around. You can see what we're dealing with. I'm letting it cool off in there. It was hotter than the bejesus. There's the ramp truck. That's what we'll be taking down there. We'll do a video on that a little later. All right. I'm going to set up my GoPro and hopefully be able to be the first time ever video picking up a car and maybe be able to go from front to back on everything we do with it and make a video. So bear with me. I'm new to this. I always forget to break the camera out because I'm just used to getting after stuff and working on it. And next thing you know, I'm like, ah, I probably should have videotaped that. So bear with me as I get used to doing this, guys. All right, let's get going. I got to go get, I got to go get raped by Biden at the gas pump before we leave. So that's where we're at. All right, people. Wasn't able to film while we were in there, but we got her. It's going to start raining, so we're just doing a quick one real quick. There she is. 84 railroad truck. C20. On the C3500. On the way home we go. All right. Made her home. Big red one made it. This is the big red one. <laughs> That's the heaviest truck we've hauled on that. That thing's got to weigh over 7,000 pounds. Really got the rear end squatting. That's for sure. It looked like a low rider. I like it. <laughs> Wish it sat like that normally. But this is what we picked up. 84 railroad repair truck. Used to run on the tracks. They'd have hydraulic rail wheels that drop down. And then they got these pretty cool, but look at how thick. And solid them wheels are and they're reversed like that to make the track width narrower so they can ride on the tracks. Same with the rear one. Get a good... Need two new tanks. Probably just gonna do one. One's plugged and one's got a hole in it. Box is in really good shape. Painted with house paint, and then the guy I got it from painted it with a rattle can to cover it all up because it looked horrible. But original white truck. We'll be doing some more videos on this later. I got other stuff to get done before I get to this. It's like third on the list, third or fourth on the list, but you can't pass them up when they come up for sale. At a decent price that we can fix them up and spend some money on them and we didn't spend too much money buying it it's in really good shape this rocker on the inside has got a little hole there I'll patch got a little crust coming there but overall it's pretty rust free got a little crust here and then there's a spot at the end of the on the other side below the spotlight right where the windshield meets the hood that I got a patch in and then one on the firewall but we're gonna make this a patina truck anyways some kind of patina who knows knowing me I'll probably paint the damn thing because I hate this house paint I'm gonna start doing something to this see if it'll come off and come off and look cool sort of cruddy The interior is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Needs a windshield, needs a dash pad. Dash pad's all tore up. The seat's all tore up. Floors are good. I think there's one hole here started that kind of looks kind of like that. 
but that's here. We'll get this all out and see how bad this is underneath here, but overall, bottoms of the doors are really good. Both doors look like that. Needs a gas tank, it's running off of a gas can of electric fuel pump right now. Big old 14 inch federal rear end. Oh, huge disc brakes. Disc brakes in 84 were not standard. They come all the way out to here. This is a 19 and a half inch wheel. You have to run like a 20 if you want to run something different just to fit around them dang brakes. It's crazy. Needs exhaust fixed, but the frame's good. Mounts for the floor are good. Body mounts are good. It's got a lot of good. Good bones. Good bones. Great to keep dual tanks, but I don't see that as a possibility. All right. We'll get some more video tomorrow when I get it off. Yeah, a little more video of the old railroad truck. Needs a lot of love. It's going to get power washed. <laughs> and that cool top that slides. It's pretty good cleaning. A little maintenance. Windshield. The new door regulators. The windows. It's either off track or something. A lot of fiddling. TLC. But it'll be good. Got good bones. Bumpers is good, needs some cleaning. Just imagine that part there, that part there, about there, nice and lowered. Four or five inch drop. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it in front with these big ass tires. We'll see. Might have to find some 8 lug 16 inch or something. These 19 fives are monsters. <sighs> so today we are going to do some serious degreasing using some of this gunk. Maybe some of that gunk. Get this gunk. Get this interior gunk because something something bit me when I was driving it to park it here. This thing's living in here, but a little better. I'm gonna get some better pictures too, but video wise. I am gonna power wash the living shit out of this thing. Uh, it's nasty. I think it sat with the window open. I think I can work on this without fear of getting eaten alive by some flesh-eating freaking spider. I'm going to have to dig this out. There's a little, I don't know what's going on here, but that's the one piece of, I'm afraid it's over, not over there. I'm afraid it's over there, but I'm going to get this all taken out and see what's in there. Might have to patch that in there. I already saw that, but... Hole in one tank, the other tank doesn't draw any fuel, so we gotta replace tanks, knew that. So the guy I got it from wired in this nice little Edelbrock pump and did the right job with a nice filter. And a pre-filter and a post-filter and a gas can, but nasty in here. This thing's living in here. There's that rust hole there I gotta fix. And then one up there. Other than that, it really isn't rusty. It's not too, it's just filthy sitting so we're gonna degrease the living out of all this <laughs> so at least when I go to work on it yeah there's some weird stuff going on here caulking or somebody speckled their bathtub these ain't even worth cleaning up they can buy new ones for 50 bucks for a pair probably put stainless ones on I'm gonna redo all this stuff Get it painted, get new, new rubbers. 
I'll do these. That'll make it look better. I did a little thinner scrub on the other side. And uh, it definitely made a difference. Oh, let's go around here. I forgot to grab the, the gunker. I'm going to degunk the doors. Degunk the interior. I already got some on there. I get this all sitting in here. I get it nice and clean. At least it'll break up some of this and see what we got to work with. I like patina. Like that guy there. That's another project that we'll be working on. I like patina. I don't like garbage. I want my interior where I'm riding to be nice. So you, you spend a bunch of money, even on a patina vehicle, you spend a bunch of money on it. I don't want to be driving in gunk. I want to be riding in something that looks like I spent where my money got spent. So I like my engine bays to be decent. When you pop the hood, people are like, oh, he meant it to be like that on the outside. Because look at his interior's nice and his engine bay took care. Spent money and took care, and he cares about that. Yeah. I gotta do brakes, tune up. I don't need something slithering out and scaring the crap out of me or biting me or killing me. So, might as well get it clean, huh? Even got the original jack info, even though the jack's missing. And I think this thing sat a long time. These railroad vehicles didn't get a lot of mileage on them. And the guy that I bought it from bought it from the guy who bought it from the railroad station. And he drove it for two years as a service vehicle. And it says 37,000 miles on the odometer. I'm, I'm really tempted. I mean, it's a work truck, so people didn't take care of them, and it sat for a long time. I'm really tempted to think that that might be the real mileage. Because of how a lot of this stuff is unaffected. It just looks like it sat a lot. There's not a lot of grease and grime. It's just a lot of grime, not a lot of grease and oil leakages. A lot of sitting you know driver was in and out of there constantly you know 150 times a day that's 100,000 miles it doesn't matter about miles it's the in and out that wears stuff out no passenger let's see this side filthy but it doesn't look like it doesn't look wore out it looks aged out I could be wrong don't matter it runs good, it runs good. 200,000 miles, 100,000 miles, who cares? I'm gonna get the pressure washer out here. Get deep gunkifying. seats but I will be sitting on them until I get it recovered until I recover it one of those things I want to do I want to do the recovering never done it It'd be a fun video to do it oh you like oh yeah, it's not bad I think it just sat Florida weather. Satin grew moss. This is all moss. Mold. So, spraying it all. Probably, 
Oops. <laughs> Look at this. Instead of buying the $5 latch, they bought the $1. <laughs> There's how you do it when you're an actual work vehicle and nobody cares about you. Poor guy. The little truck did its job. Under the doors are good. A little rust. Those are just magnets, calendar magnets. If you check those out and see what year they are. All right, you get this little spooching again. And then shut this damn hood before I run out. And 1999 were the last time those were up there. A couple of phone numbers. I should probably pull these out because I want to clean this up good. Oh, look at that. Like brand new paint under there. There you go, people. Stick magnetic stuff up protect your metal. Oh, I don't want it coming. There we go. Hey, I'll be back. It's hot as hell. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't videotape actual power wash, and I didn't think anybody'd care to see that boringness. I had to do it like four times. Forgot to do those. But it is. The doors are wider. Got all that crud off of there. The dash is. Uh, it's respectable. At least you can. Yeah, I don't say you can eat off of it, but. Floor's better, a little water in here yet. I, I power wash them and the ceiling's a lot better. At least now it's to a point where I can take a, some cleansers and some rags and actually scrub 
the rest of this stuff that needs to be agitated by hand. But a lot gooder. I wonder how much water got in there. Let's take a look. A little bit. Let that air out. I have to lock her up. Yeah, a lot better. So, next, we pull the seat. I just don't have anybody to help me today. So, either tomorrow or Monday, I'll pull that seat out really clean underneath and give me a chance to get in there and just scrub away. Took the pinpoint for the pressure washer and really knocked a bunch of that loose paint. It painted with house paint. I don't know if I said this earlier. It was painted with house paint at one time. And then a bunch of that was falling off. And I guess there was a bunch of different colors showing through. And the guy that I got it from decided to rattle can white it. And that just made it look horrible. I mean, look, it didn't even mask off the rims or nothing. I thought it would look better for presentable for people that get an idea of what they could have. Well, <sighs> horrible. Can't patina. I thought I could do some patina work on this. We'll see. Still might. I might just strip it. It all depends on how things go. How, how much I spend. But a lot of it came off, which actually looked cooler, I think. This way, it's a little more honest. Oh, it's like 104 right now. Fat kid has a hard time out here in this. Ugh. That's so much better. So much cleaner. I mean, all this stuff was in there. Even that pine cone. Just kept coming and coming and coming. Oh. A lot better. I can I can do better. I will do better. This is just just power washing and spraying and power washing and Used a deck scrubbing brush on a, on a handle just to scrub a little bit. Now I'll get in there with some rags and really get it cleaned up and get this stuff cleaned up. And I'll take them gauges out when I do the dash pad. I'm probably going to do a whole new dash pad. Um, take the gauges out. And I usually, on most almost every vehicle, I take the lenses off. And I uh, plastic polish them and clean behind the lenses so that the gauges look good. Um... I don't know if either one of these, they don't work right now. I don't know if they're not hooked up or if they're bad, so I'll take those out and test them. I'll probably repaint this with a plastic because it's in really good shape, but it was filthy. As you can see, it's just from spraying that stuff around and whatever. This stuff will clean up some, but I'll, usually what I do is I go through and I repaint these with plastic restorer paint. It's not really a paint. It's like an acid base that it eats right into the plastic. Um, and I even have chrome, chrome markers where I can do the chrome bezels. Um, make it look like new. It's fun stuff. Little fiddly stuff that's fun to do. I'm going to have to tear into that. I have no idea what that's about. But we'll get into that and find out. And some rust there. I don't know if it's rusted through. From underneath I don't see it. And there's a little spot there. So yeah, it's some stuff. But this isn't going to be a show truck. It's just a patina. Cool patina. Is the plan. So that's what we got. I might be the only one who thinks this is going to be cool and that thing's sitting in the weeds nice and lowered. That's the last thing I'm going to do is lower it. We'll see where the money goes. Running first, then interior, then lower it, and then uh, yeah, it'll probably go up for sale. But we'll see. Drive it a little while. Alright, until next time.